morning from Lake Boca. Happy belated 4th of July. Today is July 5th and we have had the absolute most beautiful holiday weekend and every single day in this lake it was pretty crowded with a bunch of boats. This is our like local sandbar area where a lot of people come here every weekend to hang out, to party, to drink, to do whatever they want to do. So we just ran from our inlet of Hillsborough Inlet, came into Boca Inlet, now we are inside of the lake. It's this big area and since it's Tuesday, there's not many people here, but on the weekend there was a bunch of people here. So today we are going to be looking for treasure that was possibly lost this weekend as well as we're gonna do a little ocean cleanup, clean up any trash that we find as well. I usually come here and do this after this giant party called Boca Bash, which is literally a specific day of the year that people come here to have a giant party. So. We'll see what it's like on after just a normal holiday weekend. There has been a ton of seaweed around lately. And if you can tell, there's literally a line of seaweed. This is like the tide line. So I'm going to hopefully try to stay out of this seaweed. Because if you guys know anything about seaweed, that's how you get sea lice. There is literally seaweed everywhere, but this part is really, really bad if you can see that. So gonna try to avoid the giant patches of seaweed. Let's get in the water and see what we can find. Is there a treasure hunting bag, Miss Captain America? I think the water is going to be warm. Ready? Yep. Time to go. Is it warm? Um, it's not cold, but it's not, it's not hot, I'd say. Holy moly, the current's ripping. A boat hatch. You see it? Mm -hmm. Isn't that an interesting thing to fall off of your yeah. boat? So far, just a bunch of beer cans. Look at the seaweed. Should I go through it? What should I do? Go alongside it. Alongside it. That's it. Can you see where it ends? Right there. I think you could probably string them back through and then you could use them. In a dolphin. <laughs> yep. 
There's a lot of stuff. gold thing and I thought it was gonna be the top of a can like the pop top look at that earring I don't know how good it is doesn't it look good though yeah maybe it could be diamonds it could be real take it to the jewelers take it to the jeweler Put that bad boy up here, not with the trash. There's no way I just found the pair to that earring, and it's not the same one, but another freaking gold earring. Isn't that crazy? And it's not rusted, which makes me think that it might be decent. Can you see any numbers on them? No. was just lost. Nice sunglasses. Lucky, lucky brand. 
But they were definitely just lost yesterday. Looks good, don't they? Mm-hmm. Ignore my intense mask mark. <laughs> That's what happens when you uh, dive for a while and your mask is pretty tight. Um, but I usually do this the day after Boca Bash, like I said earlier. And I usually find so many beer bottles, a bunch of sunglasses and stuff like that, and there is not a lot of beer bottles. So the crowd that comes to hang out on the 4th of July versus Boca Bash is very different. And I knew it was gonna be like that, but I didn't know how different, but normally I get I don't know, three five gallon bucketfuls of just beer bottles by this point. And I haven't even filled maybe a half of a, tr um, a bucket yet. And that's after, on the day, the day after Boca Best, there's usually a bunch of other boats doing it. There's no one out here. And they're also picking up trash too. So it goes to show you just the sheer volume of trash that's here after Boca Bash. When this tide changes, we're gonna have a lot of gross brown water and seaweed coming from in the canals that it's gonna be going out towards the ocean. It's already happening, so there is a nasty line of dirty water coming that I do not wanna swim in. And you can see the line between the dirty water and the clear water, let me show you. So I'm trying to stay on the clear side so I have good visibility and so I'm not in that disgusting water. I keep getting back in the boat and Victor takes me to the front and then I ride the current back down, get back in the boat and just keep drifting, trying to drift on different lines, but we don't have much more time before this gross line of tide comes to us. Are you ready to save the world from trash? Perfect sand dollar, very, very brittle. And then I found another pair of sunglasses, also just lost because they're in like mint condition. 
pretty sure Emily wears that brand. Quay or something? Say hi. <laughs> I found um, two pairs of sunglasses and I found two earrings. Oh yeah. I'm not sure how good they are though, but. Two of the same earrings? No, they're different. <laughs> All right, so I dove for probably three and a half hours today and I did find some treasures. I also found some trash. So let's go through the top things. I didn't even full, fill a full five gallon bucket, but you know, there's some beer bottles and cans one full corona i'm not gonna drink it but we did find one full corona um this is like the top of a bait net definitely just lost because this thing is in good shape too what if it's a butterfly net oh it could be a butterfly net it is pretty cheap and flimsy maybe it is a butterfly net good call Vic. we got one lure one swim bait the interesting thing about this was it was just in the middle of the sand so there was nothing to get stuck on and lose your lure on. My thoughts are someone hooked a fish with it and then it eventually fell out of the fish's mouth randomly in the middle of the water. What do you think, Mike? I think that's the most plausible explanation. You think so? Yeah. There's nothing to get snagged on by you. So that's all the trash. That's it? What did you find? A bracelet. A bracelet? Uh, probably, probably, uh, fake. Fake? It was, in, it was in the mucky part over there. Yeah, I didn't want to stay in the mucky part. Yeah, I know. So this guy came over earlier. He um, was looking for treasures as well. He watched one of my old videos of looking for treasures. Wow. That was sticking out of the sand. You got a nice bracelet. <laughs> and, and a mask. Ew, that's a good one. Yeah. That was just lost, huh? And that one's ready for a GoPro. grand prize. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Plus bottles. I Plastic. found I found this that I thought was really written. I'm like, how do you lose this off of your boat hatch, you know? Isn't that interesting? <laughs> the rest of the boat's out there somewhere. There's a nice anchor over here. Oh, you a did really find it? Really nice, a big anchor. There still is? Yeah, it, oh. the rope's cut right at the end. Okay. Uh, I didn't find it. Could I anchor. find it again? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> but I swam right up on it, and it, the, I don't know, the arm of it was at least that long. Big one. Very cool. Here's my two earrings. Oh, very nice. This one has some diamonds on it, but I don't think yeah, it's that's too I, nice. Yeah, I think this is fake, probably. Yeah. I'll tell my wife it's real. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not rusted yet, so it can't yeah. be too bad. It was sticking, yeah, it was sticking halfway out of the sand. I was like, oh, this is like, that's treasure. That's funny. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see ya. Nice Have to meet one. you. Nice to meet you. There are a ton of sand dollars out there, but mostly you just find pieces of them. These are very, very brittle, so they break really easily. This is a dead sand dollar. When they're alive, they're black, so you obviously know that this one's dead, and you can keep dead sand dollars. I found so many pieces of broken ones, but I only found one that was good, but I love to keep these. If you, you can bleach them a little bit, then put them in the sun, and they turn completely bright white, so this is a nice little treasure. Found a buckle off like a life jacket or something maybe broken i found this blue thing that i don't know what it is it has a plus or minus like it's for batteries um that looks like the ozark sign but i don't know what ozark would have that would have batteries but at first when i saw this i thought i found something really cool but i don't think it's very cool <laughs> found one piece of a goggle lens found Two pairs of goggles this one's been in there for a while this is how you can tell if something's been in there for a while it starts to have growth on it or you find something like this that looks like it was just lost this weekend that has no growth on it but this you could probably just put this back through and you got yourself a nice pair of goggles this is um like a hair tie this little dolphin silicone mold for kids on the beach sandcastles i don't know if he 
would make sandcastles out of something silicone, would you? I always used like hard things for sandcastles. Or you could bake a whale cookie. A whale cookie. So a silicone uh, dolphin mold. I found this little shark. This looks like one of those things that if your kids are like young playing in the pool, you throw this in the pool and it probably like dives to the bottom of the pool and they can go down there and get it. So little shark. Found this lighter. It's probably full of water. It's all rusted. Two what look like like handmade little bracelets, beaded bracelets. Then a USA bead necklace. Makes sense because it was the 4th of July. <laughs> like I showed that guy, I'm pretty sure his name, he said his name was Dave. Sorry Dave if that wasn't your name, but I'm pretty sure he said his name was Dave when I, he told me on the water. But look, this is this right here, a hatch on the boat. So I don't know how maybe you like go to pull it and you just yank it out of your boat and toss it in the water. I don't know, that's a very interesting thing to find. But that was also definitely just lost. A lot of e-cigarettes again. Not as many as I've found in the past, but do did find some e-cigarettes. This was like a, looks like to me like a handmade earring by someone rusted see this is how you know whether it's like good quality versus not as good quality because like look how rusted that is moving on to our sunglasses see a pair of glasses that have obviously been in there for a while and then you move on to these sunglasses that were recently just lost because they have zero growth on them whatsoever these kind of look like my style <laughs> I love a nice pair of cheap sunglasses um, but these are both like a cheap brand, cheaper brand. These, not my style. These, maybe. <laughs> oh, and I forgot this rope that I found. Probably like a 20 foot rope. Definitely just lost. This is something that I'll wash up and definitely get use, use out of. This is a nice rope. And rope's expensive. Now, for the grand finale. I have, I don't think I've ever found earrings while doing this before. I mean, obviously they're very small. I was very lucky when I found these. I thought that they were going to be the pop taps of like a can, you know, when I saw this little tiny piece under there. And then I found this one first, thought it was a bottle cap tap. So I thought this was a pop tap at first and then I picked it up and I was like, oh my gosh, that is not a pop tap. And I couldn't believe that I found this little tiny earring. And then when I found this one, I was in a very similar area and I thought that I had found the matching earring to this. And I was like, there's no way I found the matching set, but they're not matching. So what this tells me is, ladies, don't wear hoops that have clips because they're gonna fall out of your ears. <laughs> they're not rusted, so I don't think that they are worth a ton, but they're, you know, better quality than just like something super cheap. So two little gold earrings. Not as cool as that bracelet find that he found. So we're basically at slack tide right now, which is the time between both tides. So it is high tide and the water is about to switch and start going out the intercoastal, out the inlet, and all that water from deep in the canals is gonna start coming out and it's just not gonna be as clean. And already you can't even see the bottom. So that's it for me today. I probably could have came earlier, maybe had a little bit longer to dive, but I can already guarantee you that I am going to have so much sea lice. There was, I was constantly swimming through seaweed. I had it hitting my head, brushing up against my arms the entire time. Ate a lot of seaweed out here, but you know, we cleaned up some trash, found some treasures. So Victor just put the drone up so you guys can see what the lake looks like today. But in the past, we have came here to fly the drone at Boca Bash. So I'll play some of that footage as well so you can see what it looks like when there's a lot of people here. I am very pleased with the lack of trash that we found because like I said, in past times, we have found so much trash out here. So if you guys are ever interested in looking up the Boca Lake cam, I like to look at it occasionally, but I just pulled it up and zoomed in and found our boat in the camera right now. And Victor just flew the drone, got some cool shots of the lake. There's more boats here than there was earlier today, but it's just a Tuesday afternoon and there's a couple dozen boats here, but on the weekend there is a lot more. Comment down below if you guys like this kind of video. You know, I always have fun doing it, even though most of the time we're just picking up trash, but 
occasionally we do find a few cool treasures. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.